Okay, welcome to Morocco PDX. Uh, this is Tony, and behind the controls is Daniel. We are going to be playing Control again, uh, but this time with commentary, obviously. And uh, I will be uh, narrating the uh, Federal Bureau of Control's documents as we recover them throughout the site. And um, we will just be BSing along as we go. So let's get started. This is my official first time playing this game. Yeah, that's fine. Can you scroll over it all your, we're good? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. I maybe should have made a backup, but it probably doesn't matter. Oops. Fair warning. Yeah. This is going to be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me, so here I am. I wonder how much this is like I that. I know I shut you out sometimes. Firefox. Oh, I'm always it. glad to Stop hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. This also looks like the Men in Black headquarters. It's like... There's good reason for that. We'll talk about that. We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room. And the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. So this is a reference to Plato's cave. Like in that movie, oh, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, Sometimes, something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen, freak out, and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Hello? Anyone here? These plants look expensive. Nice. Very nice. Reminder, certain objects are not allowed inside the Bureau. Recent incidents have necessitated an issued reminder on prohibited material, unauthorized weapons, pagers, laptops, smartwatches, smartphones, smart gaming devices, anything smart, number two pencils, any objects considered iconic representations of an archetypical Archetypal? Yeah. Concept, e.g. rubber ducks, ketchup bottles. All materials under Bureau investigation is to be brought in through 
the private entrances. If you see any lobby personnel in breach of these policies, please notify your supervisor immediately. All right. So uh, a few comments on the intro. Um, so you, you mentioned the building reminded you of uh, New Black, and that's because uh, there is kind of a, a standing uh, association of uh, brutalism architecture, which is this like emphasis on concrete steer design uh, with federal buildings. And uh, Men in Black really leaned in that, and so does the Federal Bureau of Control in the city. Um, so that's kind of why you would uh, easily connect the two uh, because of that. Well, the other comment was is all the plants look very expensive. <laughs> yeah. Um, the movie reference that she's making, I'm pretty sure, is the Shawshank Redemption, and it actually comes back. It's it's actually a cool writing technique that they do, that they introduce something that they do a callback on at the very end of the game, where she remembers the movie she was trying to think of. Um, and I think it was Shawshank Redemption, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, so yeah, go. Expenditure summary, executive sector, order two, major staffing surveillance, redacted, data center initiative, construction, redacted, redacted, minor, Office equipment, janitor costs redacted, mold removal. Interesting. A quarter livability cost. For cost breakdown spreadsheet, see page five. For five year comparison chart, see page nine. So, this uh, kind of in world um, diegetic office paper stuff really just showing you the content that you're going to run into uh, slowly leaking in the uh, themes of, of the world like that was the most like banal and generic office document ever but it mentions that mold removal is like part of the routine maintenance and that's kind of a head scratcher starts to kind of indicate the weirdness seeping into the normalcy of the bureaucratic um, well and why was their stuff redacted in it yeah also makes you scratch your head yeah, and well, and yes, I mean, for such a basic document to have reductions uh, for something that should be so, like, trivial, yes, it points to some strangeness, and that's a very good point. And then with the first document that I found, I thought it was interesting that number two pencils, mm -hmm. oh, yes. like smart devices and things like that in an FBI building, computer, unauthorized stuff, mm -hmm. yeah, but then rubber ducks and ketchup bottles? So we'll find documents that explain why that is the case. So we'll get into that. Uh, but yes, yeah, iconic items uh, are restricted. This seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. Okay. That's the seal of the Federal Bureau of Control. This one of those pneumatic yeah. messaging systems. Yep, yeah, exactly. Pneumatic. Can you spell pneumatic? Uh, nope. E H. M A T I C. Pneumatic comes up all the time because I use pneumatic tools. And yeah, the spelling on pneumatic is not what you would expect. I, yes, I, I should have seen that <laughs> coming. And I, thought, I thought my brain would have come up with the weird part, but it's at the beginning, so oh. I failed. Now I'm doubting myself. Mm. I think you're right. It's like pneumonia. So I, I was wrong. It's actually P N E U. Okay. So there's no H, but yeah. You have the right idea. It's, yeah. It's definitely counterintuitive. So um, here is the the wall of of hierarchy, uh, and it's interesting that Yati, um, though not named on here, is in the center. And we have uh, Dr. Darling on the right, and on the left is uh, the director, uh, director uh, Trench. Yes. 
Now, Director Trench is the actor the, that, that plays Trench, um, who I will have to look up, also is the voice actor of Max Payne and the voice character of Max Payne and Max Payne 2 and 3. Um, and I believe he also did the voice for um, the stand-in for Max Payne in Alan Wake 2. Uh, which is Alex Casey. I'm just going to throw this out there in pop culture. He looks like the better Call Saul guy. Kind of. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, cool. And it, um, I'm sure they're going to explain why you only see the janitor guy's butt backside. Or something. He is just, they just play the mystery for, for uh, Yaki. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. So James Perry McCaffrey is Director Trench and Max Payne. He had also unfortunately passed uh, recently, December 17th, 2023. Um, so that is uh, sad news. Yeah. Um, see here uh redacted a shark in his redacted <laughs> although secure redacted permission to redacted following basic protocol redacted shoot to kill redacted good luck oh and attention to all redacted nice i wonder what the attention to all redacted is it's, it's obviously a Hyper specific part of the bureau. And they're probably the responders. Yeah, I'm a little uh, curious actually as to. Yeah, it, it must be referring to some of the upper echelon. Or maybe the lower. Maybe that's responding to the lower. Well, okay, it says security order. So this would be maybe potentially all security personnel. Reacting to a shark is in his although secure permission to interesting. And it's kind of fun to dissect that a little bit. So Dr. Darling's actor is Matthew Matthew Porietta. I hope I got that close enough. Um, now Porietta is also the voice actor for Alan Wake. And Alan Wake is shared, um, so the voice acting by Matthew Peretta and the uh, visual and, and uh, capture um, is done by uh, Ilka. I think I got his name right, I'll look that up. Um, but Max or, uh, Alan Wake is an interesting kind of shared composite character. Um, kind of like how Max Payne has become, or Alex Casey has become uh, a composite of, of actors. So let's go ahead and meet uh, Yaki here. Hello? Hey, excuse me. There you are. You are here about the job. Janita's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Yes. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm off to the janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they do. You are no help in it. There be work for the accents. Take them behind the sound I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No so, face. Yaki is, um, again, sort of a, a reference to a lot of things in, in uh, Scandinavian culture. I think the um, janitor or, or uh, 
general kind of person who's tasked with like uh, maintaining things is is a, a kind of uh, how would you put it like a trope character of somebody who's like the one that really knows how things works and gets things done and knows has like the special in, wisdom ins and outs yeah yes and uh, and and here I think they take that to like the ultimate extent so you're going in for the janitor's assistant job uh, and. As we find out what that is, it makes an interesting statement as to what Yaki is to everyone. So, uh, proceed deeper into the bureau, open the oldest house. Mission briefing is made. Oh man, looks like they got some structural problems here. Oh man. Well, I that. Good earthquake's gonna take this whole thing out. Mm -hmm. Jesus. So, I guess you take the uh, elevator? Maybe? I don't know. Honestly, I'm not sure where you were supposed to go. Proceed deeper. All right. Uh, Jesse arrives at the oldest house, the headquarters of the Federal Bureau of Control, to look for answers to the mystery mysteries of her childhood. Okay. So yeah, we just need to figure out how to get through. So that's uh, probably the only. Dr. Darling. Casper. Right. Casper. Look, look back at the elevator. Yeah, so that's where Yaki's uh, picture was, wasn't it? And it's been replaced well, by an elevator. Wasn't it down below? Nope. You came up here to this, uh, I don't know, mezzanine, essentially, and you saw those three pictures. Yaki's has been replaced by the elevator. I, I think you're done with the lobby. Well, I'm just curious because, yeah, I felt like I got kind of turned around. Oh, yeah. I mean, I understand that. Oh, you're it's, right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's that, going to be very easy to get turned I double back. Uh, okay. Like outside of the austere design of the brutalism architecture. Well, maybe it's very intentional. Maybe this was hidden. And... Oh, yeah. That was the picture of Yachty. This elevator was not there. So you talk to Yachty and it Change. Now I'm curious if Yachty's still there. I don't know if there's much else around here. I, I just want to. I'm very curious if he just vanished. That'd be pretty psycho. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? That was the proper intro. That actually has like a, like a movie-esque or TV-esque like introduction. Yeah. Like CSI or something. And this does have like a semi-proper end sequence as well. But that's very much Remedy's leaning into the melding of its game with uh, television or some pop culture. Like natural born killers. So the writers, Sam Lake and, and other uh, writing staff on the game described this as Could part of a genre a new weird you know what's on my mind my baby brother Dylan 17 years since the men of this bureau took him hmm. interesting statement seek shelter on an alarm so you also find full on shelters Distributed through the facility as well. This seems like a very Repo Man esque. Yeah, that's the uh, that's actually a hundred percent full right there. Is that right there is very much Repo. Now the reason it harks back to that thing that talks about not bringing in number two pencils or rubber duckies. It'll further explain why you can't have iconic symbology uh, into the the oldest house. 
sorry, that hasn't been revealed yet, into the Federal Builder Building, uh, Federal Bureau of Control. Oh, it says right there, oldest house. August 4th. 1964? I think so, yeah. And look at that building. Just goes up and up. No windows, or hardly any windows. It is brutalist uh, to, to the core. This is a very alien looking tree. Yeah, I don't know. Horticulture. Horticulture, right? The yeah. plants and, and whatnot uh, to, to help on that. I like the uh, idyllic countryside pictures, though, that sort of offset the brutalism. Mm -hmm. That has always been this kind of a cute little thing that would some office psychiatrist would recommend in their interior design. Yeah. And, uh, Not clear yet. So, uh, payment breach. Right. HRA protocol. The head of research over. Seemingly innocuous information. All will apply. Federal Bureau of Control reminder regarding drafting any public facing material while pending any notifications of death related to the Willow AWE. Please adhere to the following guidelines. Words, phrase, word slash phrase to use in the service of his or her country. Regret proud slash pride will be remembered. Words phrases to avoid. Alaska, scissors, blood slash bleed, loss, apology slash sorry. In the context of this, what do you think AWE stands for? So, all well, we haven't been given enough information to know the genuine in-world uh, meaning behind the acronym, but I will say that the expansion, one of the expansions for control is AWE, which features Alan Wake, and therefore could be read as Alan Wake Expansion. Interesting. That would take a lot of foresight considering this came out years in advance. Oh, they were totally Go back. There was a photo on that table. What was that? Oh, it's a. It is like okay. Well, this man in the world who tell ourselves it's okay with you. Okay, that just seems totally random and innocuous. Fair enough. All right. I'm sure there's that's somebody, you know, relevant to the staff or something. It's nobody I rec but I'm, I'm sure. I doubt it's random. Director, I, if I could salute you, I would, sir. Mm -hmm. Deeper into the bureau. Like there's anything? Yeah, some of the stuff is just going to be pretty much empty. Um, later, you'll see stuff populate the most rooms. Federal Bureau of Control. Barbara, I am not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the day. For the rest of the week. I can't trust them, Barbara. That's the old form. French. They're coming to get you, Barbara. So the director was uh, getting paranoid. Seems like a loose Night of the Living Dead reference just by using the name Barbara. Oh, that's good. They're coming to get you, Barbara. I mean, with the amount of, of uh, reference, yeah, references with remedy, it's, it's like nothing off the table. Investigate the noise in the director's office. Yeah, Barbara. 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 Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Why is she so afraid? You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? 
seems like a normal office. Nothing to see here. All right, so he kind of reminds me of, um, in Half-Life, the creepy guy that, you know, wandered the, around. The, the mysterious demon? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's got vibes. And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Oh, look at this place. Where am I? So Dr. Darling just introduced the concept of the objects of power, which the service weapon is one of, and the altered world events, which is the AWE we were speaking of. Why would these obelisks are giving me the vibes of the tar being that killed Tasha Yar in the next generation of Star Trek. It's a very specific look. It is. And dude, she's got a spicy right look. Yep. The same zone. So there's some documents we can okay. talk a little bit about now the service gone. weapon. But it was interesting that the board already said that uh, you were collecting the gun slash sword. So I am pretty sure those headshots will do more damage. You'd have to stun it a little bit more. And as long as that rat reticule is red, you should hit them, even if it doesn't look precise with a tiny bit of auto in helping you. Mm -hmm. Red burn. Mm -hmm. Nothing exotic here to do, but leave. But I guess kill some red. Oh, yeah. Okay. Maybe a guaranteed hit on Red Radical is not true. Nice. So your full health, so you're fine. Ugh. 
You could be a good Anakin. Not good. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. That's a good job. Yeah, you got to go. That was it. Something was coming. I'm guessing your head didn't explode when you picked up the gun. Yeah. Well, that's probably how the director failed. This effect, I love. The bureau safe. This uh, sort of like a superimposed, yeah, superimposed double image it's style. The Right after the pyramid spoke to me, and it was just noise, and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. Happy to be here. Yeah. Things you have are quieting to be. down outside. Is it safe to go? Getting with some weird stuff to feel like this is progress. Tired of being a barista, but now I've found my my whole new lease in life. Mm -hmm. This will do. All right, Let's see further into the bureau. Like it's not even direct light; it's just a it's just say, a shunt for light to I come in. I doubt that's actually natural light, too. It might be. Um, this low in the building, in a tall building like that. Yeah, yeah, maybe. But it's still like a shunt, so there's like no full. No. It's, uh, it's great. If you're wondering if that's a door, because it is, but you won't, won't see that <laughs> open until much later. What do we got here? Oh, I've never checked this out. That's It's like uh, made up stuff, but it's great. Noble Sheriff. It would be cool if either like actual references to Smokes and what? Smokes and what? Mirrors? Mirror, mirror. Smoke. Oh, smoke and mirrors. That's kind of fun. Super strong. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. Sorry, oh. guy. Uh, that, uh, sorry. Yep. Oop, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Insult to injury. Okay. Man. Ah! Here comes uh, our antagonist. I mean, it looks exactly the same way as when I. You can't let this happen. This is Jesse, Jesse Caden. Uh, Jesse also appeared in um, Remedy's game uh, Quantum Break, which also featured the mixed um, media, where that one specifically had entire episodes that were shot in um, full motion video. And then had gameplay where the characters would be crossing. And, uh... The hotline. Secure line of communication. Guide us. Reach the hotline. The hotline, says the dead man. Okay. Part of this game that I really don't like uh, as much is the uh, kind of the crafting system, I guess. So you're grabbing these materials mostly so that you can craft improved versions of the surface weapon. 
its system is not super uh, great. Okay, what do we got here? Welcome to the oldest house. Jesse Payton has arrived at the oldest house, the headquarters of the Federal Bureau of Control, to look for answers to the mystery, mysteries of her childhood. Guided into the building by the janitor, Aki, Jesse f finds Zachariah Trench, the director of the Bureau, shot dead. She picks up the pistol next to the body and is translocated to the astral plane. The strange board encourages her to find the gun, an object of power called the service weapon. She succeeds, and the board informs her that she is now the director. Yeah, let's read this. Service weapon OOP 1 KE, containment procedure, no unique procedures required. Description slash carry utility. The object's form is variable. When bound, the object allows carry utilitarians to redact it. This object must only be bound by individuals seeking the role of redacted. The object will determine whether redacted. If rejected, the applicant is terminated. This process is dictated by the redacted, though their criteria is unknown. I'm going to assume that one meant the board. Um, speaking of the role of director, I'm guessing, is uh, the second one up there. Uh, object to determine whether they're a peri utilitarian. I don't know. All right, background. The object was discovered inside the oldest house in the room that is now used as the director's office. The popular hypothesis redacted many forms throughout history. Redacted, Molnir. That's uh, the hammer that Thor uses, Scalibur, and, and Veronostra, all weapons that redacted of their wielders. If objects of power are the convergence of forces based on the collective subconsciousness, then this may be the original manifestation of that event. If this is the case, redacted, see Darling's presentation 11.1 for more details. I'm pretty sure the video was on. So, Essentially, there's this whole kind of sense that um, the union union principles of uh, sort of uh, uh, mythology um, having kind of like this greater importance in, in our psyche and sort of transmitting uh, throughout society um, and through generations and stuff is essentially like quite literal in the world of control. So. Uh, Things like Excalibur and uh, Molnir and Varnustra are these um, legendary mythic concepts that have uh, uh, essentially have, because of the status, have actual power in the universe and are represented in here as the service weapon. Or at least something to along those lines. All right. I'm kind of wondering what OOP 1 KE, I know it's objects of power. Item one, I wonder what KE stands for. Well, I care about the KE. That is interesting. Yeah. Kind of makes me scratch my head a little bit. I'm curious. I bet there is some kind of meaning behind it. I, I would not, I would be surprised if it didn't have some sort of importance to it. There's something in the director's trench photograph. Okay. So much is expected from the director, the responsibility. Privilege. <laughs> that was close. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's just the Dr. Darling video that we're doing. Objects of power. Yeah. It might be it, um, worth watching. Well, it might be slightly longer. Objects of power can Art cause power. or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. A side note remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. Now, I think this is one The service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose and you're well fired. Thank you.
I'm Dr. Darling, head of research, Federal Bureau of Control. Yeah, these are slightly longer, um, which is interesting. That's that's cool. So it's worth actually checking out all these. Things. There's a there's a that room you can that's the uh, shelter. It'll possibly have something in it. You're right. He reminds me a bit of Jeffrey Combs. Federal Bureau of Control confidential for Marshall's eyes only. Marshall, we checked out the suspected AWE in Duluth. Wasn't anything, just like the house fire before this and the malfunctioning clothes dryer before that. My team is getting pretty sick of duds. We need to find a better way to sort the fake AWEs from the real things. Or you need to rotate these field agents off for a bit. Anyway, we're en route to Sherman Ranch. Next one on the list. Let's hope it's a little livelier there. Sincerely, Special Agent Keep. Alright. So we're introduced to a Another important figure, Marshall. I was familiar with speaking as in Marshalls in general. No, Marshall, Marshall is a, uh, a character. But yes, that would be understandable. So this is a um, equipable feature. Okay, so they're already equipped, but that boosts um, Jason's power. Right. Worth uh, checking out. And you just stay here. I'll look around. Proceed further into the bureau. Treasure slash central executive. Hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss. Burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? Alright, it's our The battle's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Federal Bureau Control. How to handle unscheduled visitors entering the lobby. Start with the following. Welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control, established in 1964 as part of an effort to strengthen the government relations. We are proud to serve the United States and her people as we strive for transparency and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nation's infrastructure. If they do not leave, then ask them these questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York City or just visiting? How do you find this place? If their answers are sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a secure federal office and that they'll need to leave. If their answers seem redacted, escort them to a private room. There, perform the Gunnar's psychological assessment. If their responses are within acceptable range of deviance, see provided scoring sheet, then redact it immediately. Remember, there's no such thing as too suspicious. That the first redacted is provocative. Examination <laughs> <laughs> yeah. of paranatural topics, urban legends. Some of them. urban legends are believed to affect the creation of altered materials, but can also dictate the characteristics of the altered world event. Urban legends are understood as modern evolution of Tagani's archetypes. We recognize certain redacted, informed by our own redacted, and popularized by our media. We have additionally proven that urban legends can even be artificially redacted in popular culture using redacted, our viewer-made anthology television program. Once the seeds are sown, Human imagination exacerbates the details. So, um, our Bureau made anthology television program is talking about Night Springs, which is, of course, Remedy's version of the Twilight Zone. 
certain paranatural phenomenon contain clear elements of popularized folklore, AWEs, that only occur on redacted, a pair of scissors that consume human redacted through two punctures on the redacted. These details, living in the minds of so many, have been given strength through their belief. Urban legends are not just stories for children, they are paranormal realities waiting to happen. Refer to file 4 93 6942 for a full report. So, uh, and this is directly what I was thinking of the evolution of Young's archetypes. So, the archetypes like Excalibur and Molnir, the service weapon being an AW, an object of power, um, or altered item, altered material, object of power that is uh, representative of these. Uh, Jungian archetypes the, are are essentially like power conforming to the beliefs uh, that are um, so strong in the zeitgeist of, of humanity. So um, when they talk about urban legends creating altered world events or altered materials, it's because there are so many minds fixated on the topic and they run into the um, something that allows them to be empowered with that belief and manifest. Are we doing on time? Are we trying? Is Young the, the, the Chinese dynasty no. thing? <laughs> no, Young, Carl Young, oh, okay. uh, the German um, psychologist. Oh, okay. It's just like Dark Souls. <laughs> Nothing like Skyrim. Full thing. The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Um, bottom that babbles contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating wind that makes it come over and over. The control point. What does that mean? Help me fix it. This house is clean. It's been exercised. Change the whole feng shui of the place. Hello. Can you hear me? 
I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, and Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh, shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. Like, no, I'm just visiting. <laughs> yeah, I'm not the director. Director. Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow, this hostile force, this hiss, that works? Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah, uh, I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Uh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the Bureau she's a part of. Yes. yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. Just approach. So this narcotics plus examination of paranatural topics and control points. Summary. Control points are locations that the Bureau has identified as being vital junctions of the oldest house. When the appropriate harmonization devices are arranged around the control point in redacted arrangements, the surrounding area will not experience any unforeseen building shifts. These control points are discovered by redacted detection of unobstructed ping using redacted within a 37 foot radius. Numerous researchers have attempted to define control points, calling them nerve junctures or redacted or vulnerable spots of the oldest house. The common factor in these theories is that control points are suspected uh, to, uh, or 
suspect control points are suspected to external influence, which allows us to stabilize the oldest house and work more confidently inside it. Theoretically, this technology would be extrapolated to stabilize the oldest house as a whole, but testing has found that certain parts of the building refuse to be redacted. Refer to file 7 25 2788 for a full report. Now, um, where it says uh, control points calling them nerve junctions or redacted or vulnerable spots, the redacted on that one, I want to say, is ley lines. And they reference that later. And uh, that's probably what they were mentioning. I could not help but draw ties to Half Life in this, where they're kind of doing interdimensional jumping and beings and. Sure. Well, pull the half life bits. Gordon! Gordon, it's good to see you. Yeah. Gordon is. Fuck, this is this game. You know, might as well have been a janitor. Janitor of science. It didn't work. The hiss has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. Corn nuts. I'm too stressed out. We need to make a plan, Jesse. Alright, sorry. You're angry. Wait, you're not there. Yep. Up up there. Upstairs. Oh. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Thank you. Director. Jesse. Yes. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. Yeah. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hadron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone, a direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mail room. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director, but that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this, 